unlike the Arminians who say, well, maybe you're under the sentence of death and maybe you can't save yourself, but there's enough life, you know, in natural man that if you appeal to him in the right way, you can persuade him it's to his best interest to find Jesus to make the right right choice. There is the freedom of the will, you know, so we have to, by ways and means, somehow find it how to preach in such a way as to attract him to Christianity, make it appeal to him, and even about the goodness that remains in him and so on. No, beloved, that's what, not what it means to be dead in trespasses and sins. Man left to himself does not desire salvation as properly defined. And salvation properly defined is not simply this, you will be saved from the guilt of your sins and the consequences of your sins. Who doesn't want to be saved from the consequences of their sins? I don't have to go to hell. I'll buy into that Christianity. I'll get church membership. I'll appear on a pretty, pretty regular basis. I'll leave a collection. When I die, the clergyman will say some good things over me that I was basically a good man. Maybe I wasn't in church all that often. I wasn't so spiritual, but I showed up now and again. I left collections. I was a good man. No, beloved, that's not salvation just because someone doesn't want to go to hell, so I'll get baptized and call myself a Christian. Salvation has to do also with the deliverance from the power and the rule of sin so that one seeks the Lord and submits to the Lord's word and wants to be of service to the Lord Christ Jesus and forsakes his sin and wants to be identified with God in this world and his church and with Christ himself and plead upon the mercy of God. And that beloved natural man does not want. You mean I have to seek the Lord with all my heart? I have to forsake my darling sins? I have to be of service to the Lord Christ? It has to be first in my life? You can have that Christianity. That's salvation, beloved. Left to himself, no man is interested in salvation if that's how you define it. I have to deny myself, take up my cross, and follow him, and cast myself on his mercy, and leave my darling immoralities. I'll find another kind of Christianity, beloved, but it's not the biblical Christianity. Christianity is the change of a heart and of the affections and the desires as well. And that's what must happen, you see. And that takes what? The renewing power of the Holy Spirit of an irresistible and heart-transforming and life-transforming sort. 